My name is Dov Todorov. I'm one of the founders and the former chief executive officer of HeliCloud. I've spent the last 30 years in information technologies and half of the time was really with large multinational organizations. The other half was uh, establishing startups. And unfortunately, uh, many of these startups failed. It would be fair to say that one learns mostly from their mistakes and there is uh, a lot that I have managed to learn because I've made every possible mistake that I can think of. Back in 2011, I got a call from a very small startup called Amazon Web Services or AWS. And I joined a very small team of five technical people in Europe. At that point, we were, of course, very ambitious and we wanted to see clouds implemented in every organization. In 2016, I decided to do something else and established HeliCloud, which became one of the leading Amazon Web Services technology consulting and money services businesses in Europe, helping mid-market and large enterprise organizations make the most of the cloud platform. We started the business with a couple of colleagues and friends that were my co-investors. I stepped into an empty office. We had no customers whatsoever. We had no employees. I was responsible for making this business a success. At that time, there was really no structure when it comes to the delivery of cloud projects. Really, our focus was to go to our customers and convince them that they don't need bodies, that they need to see outcomes. That was the unique selling point of HeliCloud. Two years into running HeliCloud, it was obvious that the model that we had established was successful. And we had two options. We had the option of continuing to grow the business organically and continuing to hire people in a very people-intensive business. Or we had the option of doing a lot more in a much more compressed, in a much more focused fashion by taking external help. And that's when we engaged with the BGF team. We always had the ambition of building a business that we were going to sell in five years' time. Having BGF with us allowed us to accelerate the journey, but also de-risk it. We had a very supportive investor that was there in the boardroom, not to, uh, uh, to demand uh, the impossible, but rather to help us in the areas where we felt we were challenged and give us advice, make introductions for us and be supportive of everything that we wanted to accomplish. I think it's uh, very important to uh, understand that when you're building a startup, you are going on a journey. On this journey, you're going to need a team and you are going to need partners such as BGF to enable this journey and help you become more successful and allow you to compress the journey from 15 years into five, which is effectively what we did with HeliCloud. Just four days before the fifth anniversary of us properly trading as a business, HeliCloud was acquired by Software One, a multi-billion Swiss franc business in 92 countries. I spent the following 12 months working with the integration team in terms of taking HeliCloud capabilities and embedding these capabilities into Software One. It felt very emotional indeed because that was a business that we established from zero and I felt like my baby was, was taken away. But at the same time, we found a great home for HeliCloud. For the last 15 months, I have been trying to help other businesses, being an investor in startups and also becoming an advisor and a part-time executive. Some of them in deep tech, some of them in financial technologies, others uh, operating in the telecommunication space, artificial intelligence, quantum computing. I engage with businesses in their very early stages of existence, when there is perhaps two co-founders in a garage with a great idea to change the world, but perhaps without the funding, without the knowledge on how to establish such a business as well, and helping them, if not make the right decisions, avoid the wrong decisions. And then, who knows, it may be that I go back and establish a business of my own.